and welcome to another episode of my homebrew journey. Right, a uh, bit of a dust is here at that there brewery for the last couple of brews. My um, Twinkles Brunch, which is my American lager, sadly, um, which I did in an unsealed fermentation. Um, didn't work, uh, tasted, uh, smelled band aid y in the, ferment, in the fermenter, and then after a couple of weeks, uh, I thought I'd give one a try just to see what it was like because it was hot, and uh, yeah, it was sour and horrible, and they're all going down the sink. And then I've also got um, my Boozer Shure, my Vice beer, which is also another unsealed fermentation, which is the running theme here, isn't it really? And um, that didn't work either. And uh, I think that one might be going in the bin, although I may jump the gun on it. I think that's going in the bin as well. So you can see those videos uh, coming up soon. Um, so today um, I'm a bit narked, let's say. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a smash, an SMASH beer which is a single malt and a single hot beer. Uh, I'm absolutely no idea what the style is, but my malt is um, of that, which is Maris Otter, UK pale malt. Smells a bit nutty, lovely. And then I'm just gonna use the last uh, of my mosaic hops, which is a new worldy kind of hop. Um, and it's uh, sort of a bit of a main addition to my white IPA, which I've really, really liked. And uh, what I'm gonna do, is uh, add that in. So the basic recipe then, because I've got my small pot system on today, um, nine litres of water, uh, get it to 64 degrees, kilo and a quarter of Maris Otter, and then I'm only gonna go five grams of mosaic at 60 minutes in the boil, 10 grams of mosaic at 10 minutes in the boil, and then I'm just gonna put some um, fake in, I think, I might just do a Kveik beer, yeah, and uh, that might change, um, and uh, that's it. Water chemistry wise, all I'm going to do is check the pH with my uproar instruments, electronic pH meter, um, but I've got some buffer in there already, and uh, you know, I'm really a bit down in the dumps about my beer at the minute, which is a bit shame really, um, so maybe this beer day, brew day will... Uh, Brighten my spirits a little bit and uh, get me beer mojo back. So let's get on with the match. Right, that's us all mashed in at uh, 66 and a bit degrees. And what I'll do is I'm going to leave it 15 minutes now and then I'll attach all my nonsense to my thing. Um, I'll take a pH reading and then I'll get the uh, pump going. And we're on a happy brew day. Right, about 15 minutes, so I've set my recirculation going and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take a pH reading and um, it's 64 degrees, so I'm just going to fill her up there, so you just fill her up to the fill line and then I'm going to have to let her cool down for a minute just so the temperature conversion works. Um, I'll take a reading and if I need to put any lactic acid in, I will do. Um, I'm looking for 5.2 to 5.4 and apparently, according to Jason from Barley and the Ops TV, it's one milliliter of 80% lactic acid per 0.1 of a pH reading. So uh, we'll take our reading in a minute when this is cooled down because it's a bit right off. Um, and we'll make our adjustments then. Right, so I've taken my uh, sample, put it in the bottom of my pH meter and I don't know if you can see that, but that says 6. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in little bits over the next few minutes or so, because it takes a while to cool down, um, and see if we can get it to 5.4. So I'm going to add a milliliter at a time and see what happens. And I'll get back to you with uh, a report in about 10 minutes or so. But, uh, or as it is in video world. And so, I figured out that uh, after one mil, it went from six to 5.8. Um, so I put oh, 0.2 of a pH for each milliliter. So I put two milliliters in. So it's come out at 5.1, uh, which is a bit low really. So I'm a bit lost. Anyway, it is what it is. And what I shall do 
is be a bit more careful next time. 0.3 for every milliliter in nine liters of water. 0.3 of, of a pH for every milliliter of lactate in nine liters of water. We'll see how it goes. Right, I've got some uh, wort on there, so let's see what our pre boil is. And it is. Hmm. 10.31, which isn't fantastic. Uh, I don't know why that is. I don't care. Let's get a boil, let's get some hops in it. Let's get a cool down in the fermenter. Right, we're at 60 minutes. Uh, I'm at the end of my packet here, so I'm a bit of, bit of powder really for hops. So I'm not gonna put it in the, uh, in the little tea strain thing, because it'll all come out anyway. Um, so I'm just gonna bung it in. There's five grams of mosaic, 60 minutes, and then, what we're going to do is put the other 10 grams in at 10 minutes and uh, we're going to cool down. Right, so I've had these 60 minutes, I've actually gone a bit longer because uh, it wasn't boiling vigorously enough. Um, Pre-boil was actually 10.34 because uh, I hadn't calibrated my refractometer, so I did that and it was 10.34 and now uh, I'm going to wait to take a refractometer of this um, after I've cooled it down. Um, and you know, I'm going to use SO4 yeast, I'm not using Kuwait, I'm going to use some SO4 yeast uh, just because um, I haven't got a blow off tube and uh, I can't bother making one. So I'm just going to do that, a uh, bit of SO4, um, put it in damage on, sealed, and hope we get some decent beer. Uh, one thing also is that a lot of my beers recently are all becoming a bit infected and a bit, mm, so I might have to do a mass clean and get some uh, VWB or whatever the bleachy stuff is and just get through it all and you can see me, those bottles behind me and the Demijohn, that's my English Porter and it's all a bit, uh, I'm not sure, it's like a white film on it I bottled it and uh, we'll see what happens with that in, in another video but, you know, we'll, we'll get a cool down and then I'll report back to you with uh, a, a start in gravity and give you the old waffle, waffle spiel, ta see you next time kind of thing. Right, so we're at the end of the blue day now. Um, that's been whirlpooled and it's just filtering into the uh, damage on there. I'm going to add some SO4 in, not some Quake. Um, original gravity is 1046, which isn't too bad. Um, so that's my uh, smash beer. It's uh, just Marisotta and Mosaic Hops. Um, it's been a funny few days, I've had some odd beer uh, occurrences, um, I may even have one with a bit of a pellicle on it, you know, a bit of an infection on top, um, but I've bottled it anyway, um, and you know, I suppose you've just got to keep going, haven't you? But that's it for now, uh, this is my Twinkle Smash, my uh, Mosaic Smash, um, as usual, you can like and subscribe, you can leave a comment below if you want. If you've got to follow me on um, Instagram at uh, hashtag the home journey, that's fine as well. You can see a picture of virtually every day of something beer related. And that's it, we'll see you soon for another beer of some sort, of some type, some place, some time. And uh, I'll sign off with a, why don't you go out and brew something smashing?